Um, I don't know. I think it does. I think the song it will outweigh any good recording any day. I, th- I just, you know, there's a lot of power behind like those Beatles stories of like John and Paul just like sitting and writing songs in the hotel room. And like sure. that, that's what they would come in with. And you're just like, damn, like record that on a piece of toilet paper. I don't care. Like, I'll take it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care. I do not like, even when I listen to Beatles, like, I do not care what it sounds like. Their vocals are distorted. Like it's vibey. It's cool. It's fun. But damn, like those fucking songs will get you. You know what I mean? And it's like all this new like SoundCloud rappers and lo-fi stuff. It, it's fucking awesome. Like people just learn how to figure, people just figure it out. There's like no rules to any of this stuff. I think like a lot of the old studios and a lot of like old music people are just like, don't know how to like interpret people that just said like, there are no rules. Like, you made rules and like, we're not going to follow them. You know what I mean? Which is yeah, awesome. I, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely can dig on that is that, you know, it's, it's really like this wild, wild West kind of scenario because everyone's making new plugins. Like everyone's making, you know, different voicings for whatever, you know, plugin they're going to, they're going to have, or um, like who says you can't add like a phaser, a flanger and a chorus like to this one part and make it and not make it sound good. Like you can totally do that. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. sky's the limit. Yeah, but but I also definitely agree that uh, as long as the songs are good, you know, at it at at the core of it, pe- people will listen to the songs. You know, totally. And I think like that's like the big thing I try to get across to people is like if your songwriting's down and you get all those like boring things I just talked about down, like we can make it more interesting. You know, like if you guys got all the technicality down and i'm not like hey there's like nothing lines up here like nothing lines up here like this part goes 20 times maybe it should go four times you know what i mean like all that stuff's out of the way i'm like cool like let's put a course like pedal on like the snare drum and like put up like echo rec on every guitar and like put the drums in the hallway i don't care as long as the melody is cool like that's all that i care about like let's make it interesting because like I can listen, like, I do listen to, like, people that are just, like, a normal drum setup, like, a 57 on a guitar cab and, like, a 57 on a bass amp, and it's, like, that sound, like, the minute I hear that sound, I'm, like, cool, like, that's cool, like, okay, first four bars, like, now what are we doing, you know what I mean, not, like, first song, I'm, like, first, like, 10 seconds, like, okay, cool, get it, like, what are we doing in the, in the second half of the verse, you know? Mm -hmm. Do, do you find that, more people or more bands these days maybe spend too much time trying to overproduce their stuff? Uh, I don't know. It's, it depends. It's everyone's different. I can't say that anything happens any way, any one way or the other, not to like not give you an answer, but some people come in really prepared and it's like, cool, like let's get crazy. And then some people don't come in prepared and we're like, I'll take what you can give me if like it 